Hi. Hi. <laughs> In my head, I'm, I'm like, so to be oh, good. To you. Oh, me too. In my head, I'm like, play it cool, play it cool. But I can't. I love you so much. And I'm, Thank you. I, I, ha I had the amazing pleasure of meeting you in person. What was it, Haley, like a, almost a decade ago? It had to have been. It had to have been. But I have to say I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Me too. And it was interesting because putting this piece together for the show, I've come to a, an interesting realization. So um, when you came in, um, you saw like the picture frames on the wall. Will you tell me yes. about that? Yeah, so I, where I was sitting, uh, I was sitting across from you, you were sitting behind your desk. And I believe that wall was, I wanna say behind where I was sitting, regardless of where it was, I didn't know whether to stare at you or the wall because I was equally as fascinated by both. Um, and my mom, I remember my mom was with me at the meeting and it was, a, I had a moment of like, mom, you gotta see this wall. This is incredible. And, and you were so kind as to invite her into your uh, office there. And my mom got inspired uh, by that wall because a couple years later when I had a couple covers of my own, uh, she framed them and put them up on my wall. Uh, and it was, a, it was a weird thing for me at first, but I realized like what an incredible thing to actually be able to look at that and, and see what you've accomplished um, in such a way. So thank you for that. Uh, my mom, thanks you too. <laughs> Do we, did we show a picture of the wall? I was staring at you. Okay, perfect. Um, take a look at this. So actually that office was Chris Miller, who's producing the show. We've been partners for over 20 years. Um, and that was his office. And when he first put those framed like covers up, I was mortified because I felt really shy and embarrassed. And what I realized sure. through what your mom did is that we need someone to shout out our accomplishments because we won't do it for ourselves usually. Totally, totally. And I will say I was absolutely mortified myself. And it was like a little, I, I was like, what do I do when people come into my my room or like my my little closet even? There's like pictures of myself. It was just very bizarre. But um, it took me a minute to realize that it actually is a really wonderful thing and, and something I would never do myself. So you're right. It's true. You need some, like that's what family does, found or blood. You know, they celebrate you in a way that we can't celebrate ourselves because we want to be like humble and about the work and you know it, it just it you helped me realize how important that is to enjoy someone else's uh celebration of you so thank you for that realization of course um you and your mom are really close and she supported your decision to like become an actor when you were young. And I got to do that without question. And I'm so relieved because I love the life I've gotten to live and I wouldn't have it any other way. What was that like, that journey with your mom growing up, her supporting you? Oh my gosh, I, I mean, it's very safe to say I would not be where I am without my mom. And the countless hours she spent researching, uh, how to get me into the right place at the right time um, and making sure that I was prepared. Uh, but I mean, it felt like my mom and I lived out of her car for my whole childhood, just driving to auditions and one after the other, sometimes multiple in a day. Um, and it was just a, you know, a rocky road. I mean, at times it just was like, sometimes it was obviously, as you know, great and wonderful and you receive good news and other times you don't and more times you you don't, uh, at least for a while. <laughs> for me, anyway, that was the case. Um, but she never gave up on me and she knew that it was something I wanted and that's what kept her going. Um, and through that, she just was unbelievably encouraging and, and loving and supportive uh, and again, wouldn't be where I was without her. It's so rare that like a parent encourages and realizes someone young's dreams it's like mm -hmm. you know it it's not always the case and it's it's pretty wonderful when it is and it's true you do you, you learn young to deal with rejection which is like kind of becomes a strength but my mom would always take me for a filet -o fish at mcdonald's and i do still associate like comfort with creamy carbs and i love it <laughs> Did you oh and your mom ever have a ritual when it didn't go the way you wanted it to? You know, 
the food was definitely involved. I mean, so we, um, my parents are, are still in the house that I grew up in and it's um, quite, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a ways from town uh, mm-hmm. where all auditions were held. And so there were, you know, so many restaurants out in town that we, you know, would never eat at. And we definitely would stop at like a diner was like the go-to, you know, pancakes were definitely a go-to no matter what time it was. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it was just getting in the car and going home, you know? I, I, I wonder, you know, do you have any advice? Because rejection really is something that you're going to have to deal with throughout your life. Every human is going to go on a journey where every single thing is not going to go their way or work out or that dream doesn't see realized. Do you have any advice? You have such a megaphone to so many people. You know, do you have any wisdom? I would say... I am, I'm a huge believer in everything happens for a reason. And sometimes, I mean, I tell myself that too many times a day and so it's easier said than, you know, felt or understood because oftentimes we're looking for that reason why. Um, But I believe that there is a place for everyone in this world and, um, you know, timing is everything. That's something I, I had to learn. You know, I think it's very easy to feel like you did, I did something wrong or I wasn't, you know, uh, I wasn't as prepared as I should have been, but I have to know that in that moment, I trust that I did everything I could. And maybe the timing just wasn't right. Haley, I built a hand-drawn neon sign in my entryway that says timing is everything. I have amazing wow. everywhere. It's so true. And it takes a long time to believe and trust in that, but it is true. And all these things are building blocks. They are not going by the wayside. They are building blocks for something else at another time and it is all worthwhile. I have chills head to toe. I'm so glad that you said that. Um, That feels like it takes a lifetime to understand or get to know. You are so wise. (laughs) 